guys, Shane Sarnes here with DroidForums.net. Today I'm going to show you guys how to restore your Razer HD or your Razer Max HD to factory settings. Uh, you'll need to know this just in case you end up in some kind of boot loop. If you install a Kexec recovery or if you unlock your bootloader and install a custom recovery and you install the wrong type of modification and you end up in a boot loop, it's always nice to know how to revert your phone to factory settings, how to unbrick it in case you do run into some sort of boot loop. Also, if you want to return your phone to Verizon for any kind of manufacturer uh, warranty. You'd want to make sure that you were on stock factory ice cream sandwich or jelly bean or whatever the case may be. But today I'm going to show you guys how to revert to ice cream sandwich if you're already on jelly bean or like I said if you're in a soft brick and you want to recover from the soft brick it's very easy to do. Uh, thanks to Matt L. Groff who developed the Droid Razor HD utility. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and you want to make sure that you have the drivers installed. So if you take a look there, there's some included drivers. It says drivers required. If you've rooted your phone and it worked out for you, then chances are the drivers are already installed and you're ready to go. Uh, so what we'll do now is kind of minimize this and we'll go ahead and plug in our phone. Okay, so what we'll need to do is go ahead and boot into fast boot mode. So we'll turn the phone off. Okay, so to get into fast boot mode, we're going to hold both volume buttons and power at the same time. And as soon as the menu comes up, we want to act quick here. Uh, scroll down to AP Fast Boot with the down arrow, and then hit the up volume to get into fast boot mode. And now that we're in fast boot mode, we're going to go ahead and plug in our phone to the USB cable. And we'll just kind of set this to the side. Okay, so when that is all finished, we're going to go ahead and open up the toolkit, and we'll double click this Droid Razor HD Utility, and that will bring up the Razor HD Utility 1.0 by Matt L. Groff. So here it says just to press any key to continue. So here we'll just go ahead and press any key. And uh, we have three options here. We can either fast boot restore. If we click that, that's going to uh, return us to the factory image. So we'll be totally stock as if we took our phone out of the box. It's going to wipe all your data and erase everything. So be sure you do make a backup before you select that. Uh, once you've done that, if you want to go ahead and root, you can select option number two. And that will apply the Motofell to go root by Dan Rosenberg. And then if you want to keep root through any over-the-air update, you can install Voodoo Root Keeper and you'll be able to apply your root later on. Uh, so for now, we just want to unbrick the phone or return it to official Ice Cream Sandwich software. So we'll go ahead and select number one. And it says, before continuing, ensure Razer is in the AP Fastboot mode, which it is, and connected to the USB. Uh, also press the key, the keys after the screen flashes back on when asked. Uh, so you kind of want to sit here and I guess follow whatever this says so it's going to tell us uh, this is the first time I've done this but it, it's going to tell us to press some keys so I want to make sure that we do that. It says if your battery is low do not run this program be sure that you're 100% charged so that's another thing just be sure that you have your phone 100% charged before you continue so we're going to go ahead and press any key to continue and it will begin the process. press any key when the screen comes back on. So our phone kind of flashed off and back on. So now we'll go ahead and press the key to continue. So this was something that I noticed that was kind of strange. Uh, if you scroll up and look at the screen here, it wrote the it sent the system and wrote the system like literally I don't know, 40 times, so that was kind of strange, and uh, there for a second I was getting worried because I didn't know if it was doing the correct thing, but as you see, it finally got the system wrote correctly, and it finished the process, uh, so it says that it is finished, it says it is recommended to wipe data, especially if you were on a custom ROM, if you don't, you'll probably boot loop and have to wipe anyway, press any key to wipe the phone's data, uh, or exit the utility, press any key to continue. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe the data uh, because I don't want to end up in a boot loop. Of course, if you don't wipe the data here, you can boot back into recovery mode. 
Um, just like I showed you how to boot into fastboot mode, hold the volume keys and power, and instead of choosing AP fastboot mode, you would choose recovery. But we'll go ahead and wipe the data here. So the whole process did take about 10 minutes, so you will want to be patient with it. Okay, finish. Total time. Okay, this is it. We're now running stock ice cream sandwich. Uh, please make a selection or hit enter to return. So we're just going to hit enter. And we'll watch the phone boot up. We should be running stock ice cream sandwich now. Okay, so I already know that we have returned to factory because the boot animation sound is back. I was running the leaked jelly bean and uh, there was no boot animation. So I do see that we are running the official ice cream sandwich version. So that was how to unbrick your Android device. Uh, how to restore it back to factory settings. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Uh, be sure to subscribe to this channel because we're going to cover the Droid Razer HD heavily. We're going to cover the consumer model and the developer edition. So you want to be sure that you are subscribed to this channel for that. Guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the forums.